So I'm here in the Grand Teton National Park and it's absolutely beautiful. So let's take a look what the park has to offer today on Colorado Martini Living. Looking back at Teton Village, looking south, absolutely beautiful. We're in Teton National Park. Leave Teton Village and go through Teton National Park. At one point, it becomes a dirt road, so just be aware. But it's a beautiful, beautiful vista. So you just you can't beat them. These roads are very narrow. Um, so if you are in a RV, just be warned. Um, I mean, people probably could get by you, but they're, they're pretty narrow roads. I finally found my moose. And I'm gonna put the GPS coordinates down in the description where we found um, this moose cow. Uh, she was pretty awesome, and what was neat is that we were pretty high up, so we could get some beautiful shots of her. So. We were so close, I could hear her head coming out of the water. <laughs> we could, could we? Yeah, we were that close. But we were in a safe distance because we were up on a cliff. Uh, just remember, these are dangerous animals, and you need to stay away. just took that moose picture there's a little pond right here so right before moose junction um, you can find the moose that we took a picture of it's right here and I'll put the coordinates down um, in the description So be warned if you're coming from Jackson to Yellowstone um, that you have to go through Teton National Park. It costs $35 to go through Teton National Park and it costs $35 to go through Yellowstone. It used to be one fee but now it's separate so you're looking at $70. It only cost $80 to buy an annual pass to the National Park System. So buy an annual pass so you've got one for the whole year. It's a better deal. The whole year. The whole year. at Jackson Lake Lodge in the Grand Tetons. They have these really nice, um, they call cottages, but they look like just regular rooms. Um, it's a really nice area and it's right next to Jackson Lake. Um, of course, make reservations. Don't expect to just show up here and get a room. That never happens in these national parks. Jackson Lake Lodge.
The beautiful lodge, beautiful vistas. They have nice restaurants and bars. I mean, look at this view from the bar. It's absolutely beautiful. So they have these beautiful, beautiful views from the Jackson Lake Lodge. It's Jackson Lake we're looking out at. It's just magnificent. thing about Horace Albright, he was the director of the National Park District. Um, he is actually the grandfather of a very close childhood friend uh, that we grew up with, um, Horace Albright. He has a lot to do with the history of this area and the Park Service. They also have like a little grill that you can eat at. Very 60s. <laughs> Stop by the concierge's desk. You can get raft trips and lake cruises and bus tours. Um, they have lake cruises that range from $25 to $42 and bus tours that are around um, anywhere from $50 to $200. Bucks. Also have the um, great barbecues um, by the pool. Poolside with a band. How fun is that? There's an RV park and a campground here. It's very busy. A hooty hoo festival. There's also a general store. Hey, looky there, look at that phone booth. I'm at Coulter Bay. That is uh, Jackson Lake right behind me. And right in front of me is RV camping and regular camping. They also have some cabins here um, and a swimming beach. It's absolutely beautiful, it's June. Um, but it is cold here. We're having an unseasonable uh, winter keeps holding on um, in this area. But it's absolutely beautiful, so let's go take a look. Just behind me is RVs. So you can camp or bring your RV right here. Um, and it's just a path walk down to the water. It's absolutely beautiful. Tell me this is just not magnificent. This is Coulter Bay Grand Teton. There's picnic benches all along the beach that you can just sit here and have lunch. If you're on your way into Yellowstone, it's the perfect place to have a picnic. It's really not that far um, off the main road the 191 but you just you cannot beat this view and it is absolutely perfect for the little ones a nice path that goes along the lake you might see the person um, right there so you can ride your bike or walk along the path um, it's just beautiful so here's a dining hall um, at Coulter Bay 
and we're gonna check out the cabins. We almost stayed here, um, but I was not able to get us an adequate cabin, so we ended up staying down in Teton Village. But they have these really nice log cabins here right next to the dining hall. Um, I've heard that if you stay in the tent cabins, uh, that it's cold. So if you happen to stay in those, make sure you bring some extra blankets and warm jammies with you. Oh, there's a restaurant bar and grill here. Um, so we, we're gonna see what kind of food they could have that they have. Also has a nice little store there. Ranch House uh, restaurant and it's really cool. They've got gluten-free options. Yay! That was Coulter Bay. I liked Coulter Bay. I thought it was really nice. It was less crowded than uh, Jackson Lake Lodge area. Um, but it was really nice. It has a really cool history. We're checking out Flag Ranch. Um, there's a visitor center and cabins here and groceries in a convenience store. And you can get gas here. So there's cabins over here. These are some of the cabins at Flag Ranch. Um, they're pretty basic. They have a fire pit and bunk beds. table desk area in there. I know it's hard to see, but it looks like it has double beds and a table and these great windows. Sand is June on a Saturday night and this place is like empty. There's, as far as I can see down this row, there's nobody here in these cabins. And the RV parking is pretty, pretty empty too. Um, so if you're having problems staying in Yosemite, we're about an hour and a half from um, Old Faithful. They also have these other cabins over here um, that don't have the big windows. Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.